guys, this is Rax425 from Rax425.com and today it's a video that I think everybody has been waiting for. Most of my viewers and subscribers have been waiting for this. Uh, it's been quite a few months since I said I was going to do this video and today I'm going to do this video and I'm going to be upgrading the, SS, the hard drive in my laptop to an SSD. I'll be using a PNY 480GB SSD so if you've been waiting for this video and excited to see it, stay tuned, watch the rest of this video uh, because I'm gonna be tearing this bad boy apart and upgrading to an SSD. All right guys, so here it is. I'm gonna be tearing this thing down. Uh, really all you're gonna need is a screwdriver and maybe a pry tool. So uh, not really a whole lot of tools are gonna be needed to really uh, to make this upgrade. So anyways, uh, let's get right down to it. Look at that. Boom. Found him. You see, these things looked like like it was like it was it like it was flush almost. Like it wasn't a so I just took a razor blade and removed them. Like so. Or I removed one rather. 
So, and it like popped off across the room. So, yeah. Because I was like, man, I shouldn't be feeling this kind of resistance with a clip. So, because I know what that feels like. Because with a clip, you know, at a certain amount of... With a certain amount of, of pressure with a clip, it just clips off. You know, with a screw, you know, it makes you feel like you're going to break something. So if you ever get that kind of resistance, just stop and question yourself whether or not, you know, this is... I, uh, that you're doing the right thing or not. So, it looks like we've got it. Alright, clean that off. And it looks like here. Okay, yeah, wonderful, yeah. So, I've got it loosened here. So,. Uh, just to give you a, just to show you, once you've got you once you've got all the screws loosened and you've unloosened all the clips here, uh, you can open it like so. And what you see in there are several different cables. Looks like about, sorry, that glare. There's like three different cables right there connecting the trackpad keyboard, and looks like maybe. Uh, I don't know. One, there's those three cables there. So trackpad, keyboard, and something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach these and actually just take off the keyboard and then show you guys what's up. Okay. Now, this is it. So what I mean, you got these ribbon cables right here. It's just, that's it. That's all that's attaching the keyboard to the motherboard. So you want to be very, very careful with these because these ribbon cables right here, I mean, one crease, one bend, one anything, and, the, and you're having to replace this whole keyboard. So do be careful with this. Don't just go in there like a destroyer and... Gah! Because you're going to screw it up, and then you're going to have to order a new part. And I, I can't tell you how expensive this is, but I'll put it in. The, I'll put the replacement part for this in the description down below, just in case during this teardown, you do screw it up, and you have to buy a new one. So anyway, hopefully you don't. Uh, hopefully you'll just follow the steps of this video, and you know. Anyway, I'm going to flip this like so so you can see every part involved here so here we got it the SSD now it looks like the SSD is just being held in by this simple ribbon cable right here so we're just gonna flip that up yeah so I'm just gonna flip that up and uh, and pull it out and that's it. So, I'm thinking I can just pull it out now. Yep. So that's it. That's the the crappy hard drive in this. Uh, in this, well, I mean, it's not crappy, but I mean, it's it's a little it's a little on the slow side. So, this is the 5500 RPM. Uh, hard drive that this laptop comes with so I'm going to be replacing this with a with a real SSD to you know super speed my laptop so anyway uh, whenever I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my uh, desktop via SATA connector and migrate this hard drive onto my SSD and then I'll put it in here. Also, I'll I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now I, I must say, uh, cloning my laptop's hard drive onto this new SSD 
has been the biggest pain in my butt that I have experienced in a long time. I mean, I would have had this video up like uh, several days ago if this has not been just um, very taxing <laughs> on me. I've probably copied my laptop's hard drive onto the SSD about five or six times uh, before I actually got a working, uh, a bootable uh, clone. So uh, here's the thing. <clears throat> Whenever I uh, cloned my desktop's hard drive or, or my desktop's SSD onto the hard drive, it was perfectly fine using the easiest to do backup free and and I'll tell you why because the hard drive the the hard drive slash SSD hybrid that I was using to migrate from the SSD to the hard drive was fine because the hard drive was larger than the SSD so now I've got a one terabyte hard drive that I took out of my laptop and trying to migrate that into a 480 gigabyte SSD caused problems. So I had to, uh, man, I had to downsize the partition, which I did using the iMagic partitioner. And I'll, I'll go on that. So let me show you how I did this. So what I had to do in order to get this to fit is I had to downsize the main the the what would be the c drive here right here i had to downsize this because it had all of this extra data right so i had to downsize this to a size that is uh comparable to the largest partition on the ssd so which is which is where i was which is where i went wrong i was just trying to take the whole disk and copy it onto this one and it just would not work it would not boot so uh, not with the easiest to do uh, backup free even though it, it it would copy it but it would not work it would not boot it would kick an error every time saying that uh, it needs to be repaired and when I use a repair tool uh, the repair tool would not work uh, because it said the hard drive was locked because the boot logic was uh, messed up because it couldn't Windows could not uh, see this as the C drive therefore it wouldn't boot up so what I had to do to fix this issue and and, I, and the reason why I'm bringing this up and I, I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be but I feel like this needs to be said because a lot of these SSD upgrades and laptop videos just show people breaking open their laptop sticking an SSD in there and saying there it's done but they don't show you the technical side of how to do it, how to get your OS onto the SSD. And I think that's where a lot of people get hung up. So here's what I had to do in order to do this is I had to take this and go to uh, wipe disk. Now what this wipe disk function does is it completely wipes every partition on the disk. I mean everything, even the hidden ones. And, and that was another issue I was having because even though I went to this Intel data migration tool which has a very thorough wipe it would not wipe the hidden partitions it would just wipe the unhidden partitions and that's another thing that I think was causing the boot logic to mess up so I went here and I went to wipe disk and what and when you choose this what it does is it actually makes you uh, restart windows and it boots up in the MS DOS or, or a command line prompt and it wipes the entire thing so and once that was done and it took several hours uh, for that to finish so once that was done you had a completely clean wipe on your uh, hard drive so what I do after that is you go to disk management And then when you and you go down and what's gonna what you're gonna see is one big black line that says unallocated and then you'll right click on it and hit format and then you'll format it to uh, NTFS and you'll just don't really even have to to do this really but I mean I just did it for good measure once it's formatted it's a health it's labeled as a healthy partition um, and then I used Intel data migration software and this was another important step to my 
um, eventual success in getting this thing to boot. So I went to clone, right, and it's going to analyze things. So you got two different options here. You got automatic, which just automatically copies every partition on the hard drive onto the destination disk, right? And I tried this and it did not work. So I would just get an error message every time I tried to use this and I think it's because of the size of the SSD. So I went to manual instead and click next. Now what this manual does is you have the ability to size and resize the disks or the partitions as you're moving them. So this is my laptop's hard drive as it were, right? And I got this big fat un unallocated space. I mean, you, I know this is my laptop's drive. For one, it's Toshiba, and for two, I've got this. So anyway, gonna click next on that. Wait for it, wait for it. Waiting, okay. And then you're gonna click that. And then you're gonna click next. So this is the destination, okay. Then you're gonna click next. Now this is the destination you have chosen. Contains some partitions that could be useful. It could be useful data, click okay. To confirm deletions of all partitions on the destination disk. Now, since I had already done all the work as far as, uh, you know, resizing it goes, um, and I did that in the iMagic Partitioner, really easy to do. You just click OK, and it does all the work for you. And once it was done, I was able to boot. So I really wanted to show that aspect of it, and if you want to resize it, I'll show you real quick. If you want to resize a partition, it's really simple to do. You just re click on it, and well, that, it's unallocated. But anyway, I, all you got to do is just right click on it and click resize, and boom. You can move it up and down, left and right, whatever, however you, whatever size you want it to be. See? You, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller, you know, whatever you want. Um, you can do it with this tool, and it's free. So I'll put a link to these tools that I used in the description down below. Um, uh, in the last video that I did, I used the Aesis to do, which which is a good tool to use, but not so good if you're migrating to a smaller disk. Uh, so just it's just been a pain in my butt. Anyway, I, I accomplished it. It's all good. I've got the SSD <laughs> bootable now, so I'm gonna take it out and uh, put it in a laptop and show you guys how um, that's done. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out my SSD that I'm going to place inside my laptop. If I can do this with one hand, I'm, I'm going to try. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, so So this is laptop's SSD and fully functional. Finally, this is the little piece that you take out from the uh, from the inside of the laptop. This is how it connects to the SATA. And also, what I'm going to do is also take this off as well because I want this because this kind of keeps it sitting in there, secure. Inside the, inside the laptop case. So. Okay. And this was what I had, I had this previously attached to. Because this was a, uh, SSD that I had previously in my desktop. So, geez, man, that adhesive is uh, just something else. Okay. Note PNY hard drives or SSDs 
come with a very powerful adhesive like I had to pry this out of my PC case so if you're interested in one of, getting one of these bad boys I'll uh, list it in the description down below this one's a 480 uh, gigabytes all the state of course you can go bigger but they're kind of expensive so anyway now we're gonna put it inside PC case or the, oh, going the wrong way with it first I'm gonna line that up in there way it should be Kind of hard to do this with one hand. This little, this little rubbery thing is like, there we go. Okay, now we've got it. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to hold the camera and <laughs> do this at the same time. All right, so now you've got your uh, solid state drive installed and now I'm gonna uh, boot it up here. So you guys can see that it is actually working. Boom. And that's it guys. Fully operational, fully working. I just gotta attach the uh, keyboard and mouse back to it, which is not difficult. It's just a matter of putting the cables back into these slots and then, uh, you know, pushing it back down into the clips and, and you're done pretty much. And then of course you gotta place the screws back into the bottom. And then that's it, you're, you're, uh, you're pretty much uh, good to go, so. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been a long time, uh, you know, in the making. <laughs> and I, I appreciate everybody's patience with it. I know most of my subscribers have been waiting for it. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, uh, you know, share it if you found it informative. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for uh, more kind of tech news and uh, random other things that I come across uh, kind of stuff. So... Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.